Sawadee Krab. It's Tuesday, March 5th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. A 30-year-old Chinese tourist drowned at Patong Beach early Saturday morning after ignoring warnings to not enter the water while drunk. The whole thing took place at about 4 a.m. on Saturday morning, according to Phuket Beach officials, who said they saw a group of Chinese tourists drinking alcohol together on the beach in front of Loma Park, and they gave them a warning not to play in the sea. About 20 minutes later, officials say some of the tourists called for assistance as four Chinese males had gone into the sea and only three returned. After about 15 minutes of searching in the water, officials found 30-year-old Lu Meng Yang face down in the water about 200 meters from the beach. He was pronounced dead on arrival at Patong Hospital. The 21st annual Phuket Food Festival at Sapan Hin is taking place right now after Phuket City Mayor Somjai Suwan Supana officially opened the event over the weekend. The festival is aimed at promoting the different types of street food that Phuket has to offer over a period of seven days from March 1st over to March 7th between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m., upholding Phuket Town's title of Gastronomy City as bestowed by UNESCO in 2015, leading Phuket to join the ranks of 18 other cities around the world. Mayor Somjai announced that the festival is expected to generate over 10 million baht and includes over 100 booths along with special music events and more. Visit thephuketnews.com to learn more. Two king cobras were spotted at a house in Katu and only one was caught after a two-hour effort by rescue workers on Saturday. Rescue workers were notified at about 7.30 p.m. of the sighting on Saturday evening at a house on Katu's Nako Road near a golf club and when they arrived, they found two king cobras hiding near a waterway in front of the house. It took rescue workers about two hours to catch one while the other one escaped. Once caught, the snake was found to be about 5 meters in length and weighed 20 kilos. It was later released safely into a jungle far away from residences. But that wasn't all as they were notified of another snake sighting on Sunday morning. This time a python had eaten a chicken after attacking a chicken coop near the Katu waterfall and because it was full, it was moving slowly making it easy for rescue workers to catch. That snake was also released in a jungle far away. In case of emergency snake sightings, you can call emergency services at either 1669 or 199. Sit tight, Pukadak Show will be right back after this. Have you ever wanted to do a 10K or a half marathon? Are you a seasoned runner who thinks that just because you're getting a little older, your best times are behind you? If you've answered yes to these questions, then come and join me for Ramp Up Your Run. March 23rd, 7 a.m. at Phuket Boat Lagoon starting you on the road to an active and healthier lifestyle. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Frustrated at the lack of progress by police over her case, a woman in Patalung province tried to get a police attention by attacking a TV host who was prepared to air the government lottery draw on live TV last Friday. During Friday's rehearsal of the government lottery draw in a Patalung auditorium, Channel 5 news anchor Tananya was going over her notes holding a microphone when suddenly in front of a live audience, a 35-year-old woman known only as Prapan stormed the stage and placed a five-inch screwdriver against the host's throat. While the news anchor was only slightly hurt, the broadcast went on without her. But police then took 35-year-old Prapan away, and it's unclear if charges were pressed against her after the incident. But she did tell reporters that she just wanted to draw attention to the lack of progress over her police complaint, in which she asked cops to find out who dropped fresh kratom leaves and liquid at her mother's house. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Big talk on the environment is taking place right now at the 9th Regional 3R Forum in Asia and the Pacific with Thailand's environment minister saying that Thailand will recycle all its locally produced plastic waste by 2030. The forum, which is being hosted by Thailand and attended by over 600 people from 42 countries, it's all to discuss best practices in waste reduction and recycling, with Minister Surasak Kanjanarat saying that Thailand will ban the import of plastic waste to produce new materials. 
According to the Bangkok Post, Thailand currently has to import plastic waste from other countries, especially Japan, in order to comply with an international manufacturing rule that requires a third of the materials used to come from recycled materials, as its locally generated plastic waste here in Thailand is considered unfit for recycling. Minister Surasak says he's confident Thailand will can achieve their target by 2030. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.